Welcome to another episode of Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, I try to bring you guys a variety of different tech-related content. So, if this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. In today's video, we're going to secure a couple of websites on a Synology NAS using Let's Encrypt certificates. Okay guys, so I'm signed into my Synology unit. I'm in the control panel, I'm on security, and I'm under the certificate tab. And what you see here is a self-signed certificate for Synology.com. So in the last couple of videos, I showed you how to host websites on, on the Synology unit. And when you access those websites from the outside, they weren't secure, right? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna add a couple of Let's Encrypt certificates to the Synology so that when we access those websites from the outside, we'll be accessing them securely. So let's take a quick look at the cell phone. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So right now, let me pull up my phone and show you that I am off my Wi-Fi. You can see here it's turned off. Let's go into Safari. And if I pull up one of the websites that we created in a previous video, You'll see the website loads, but if you look at the very top of the address bar to the left, it says not secure. So when we're done with adding the Let's Certificate, the Let's Encrypt certificates today, we'll be securely able to access the websites that are hosted on the Synology NAS. Let's get started with that process. Okay, we're back in the Synology device. I'm under the security control panel and we're under the certificate tab. We're going to add two Let's Encrypt certificates, one for each of the websites we created in that previous video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link to that up above. In order for Let's Encrypt to work with Synology, you need to port forward port 80 over to the Synology NAS. And if you need to see how to do port forwarding, I'll put a link to a video up above for that as well. So let's get started by clicking on the add. And we're gonna add a new certificate. Let's say next. And out of the list here, we're gonna click on get a certificate from Let's Encrypt and say next. Here we're gonna put in the FQDN. In my case, I'm gonna put in my dynamic DNS. And my email. And we're gonna say apply. And this is pretty quick. And there you go, guys. We have our default certificate and now we have our um, FQDN DDNS name for our first website. So now we're going to add the second certificate for the second website. And we're going to add a new certificate. Again, we're going to say get a certificate from Let's Encrypt and say next. Put in the DDNS name or FQDN. Email address. Say apply and there you go we have both let's encrypt certificates issued so now what we're going to do is we're going to configure our services so we're going to select the appropriate certificate for the appropriate website and we can leave the rest as the default but we can also change them to one of the other certificates if you want which i'll do and you're probably saying why couldn't i just create one certificate and apply it to both websites uh that does not work at least i tested it and it did not work so i went ahead and i created a certificate for each of the websites and the web server should restart and once that restarts we should be able to then go back and access those websites and we hopefully should see them come up with the secure padlock. So once it gets restarted, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I have my cell phone up on the screen. It's time to test to see if the Let's Encrypt certificates are working as expected. As you can see, I don't have my Wi-Fi turned on, I'm just using my cellular LTE. Let's go into Safari. Let's type in the first domain for the first website. Oh wait, I know what I did. I know what's wrong. 
let's put in HTTPS. Let's try that. And there you go, guys. There's the secure padlock. So we're accessing the first domain securely. Let's now try the second domain. And there you go, guys. The second site is coming up as well with the secure padlock. So there you have it, guys. If you liked this video, found it helpful, and would like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. You can help out the channel by remembering to subscribe, give the video a like if you haven't already, and share the video. And remember to use those Amazon affiliate links down in the video description below. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. See you next time.